Hi all once again welcome back to my channel as you all know that Kylie has launched a new summer collection so this video is all about the Kylie summer collection so as you can see that I'm ready with the base it's just that I have to do my eye makeup and my lipstick and as for that I would be using the new Kylie summer collection and we would also be talking about the product and its review so let's get started so starting with the packaging as the theme of the product is summer collection which means a warm shade and hence the warm color for the packaging talking about the shades it doesn't show the name of the shades on the palette i have swatched all the shades on my hand the entire palette is a warm shade if you see they are damn pigmented but one thing is bothering me is the fallout I guess it's just this palette because I don't remember Kylie's shadows to be so powdery and have this much kickback in the pan. It may be because they have changed the formula to improve the textures and product quality. But one thing is for sure that this palette is more pigmented than the Kylie shadows that I have tried before. But I just don't like this kickback in the pan because you are blowing away a lot of powder that equals taller. If you see the palette carefully. There's a lot of fallout. Now let's see how it looks when applied on eyes. Excuse me guys, actually there was a parcel at the door and I had to run down to get the parcel and um, I'm already spreading. So let me just blend out the creases. And uh, by the way, the parcel is for the Armani watch. And if you guys want me to do an unboxing of Armani watch, then do let me know. Starting with the shade called Melon. I'm using it as a base. Keeping the theme of the palette in mind, I'm going to be using the shade that creates a perfect warm tone eyeshadow look. So if you see, they look pigmented. And now I'm going with the shade Suns Out Buns Out. And this has major fallout in the pan. I'm going to apply the Suns Out Buns Out shade to my crease. So I would be taking out the shade, the melon again and just blending lightly over my crease. You just have to touch the eyeshadow shade and that would be enough. That much pigmented these shades are. Now it's time to play with some shimmers. I'm taking this bronzy shade called Heat Wave. Somehow it's not popping out when used with the brush, but when I swatched it on my hand, it looked super pigmented and smooth. So I'm just uh, using my finger to <clears throat> apply this shade. And if you see that with finger, it's, it's popping out really well. The shimmery shadows are lackluster because they look pretty on eyes but you need a sticky base underneath to get it on there. And bring down the shade to my lower lash line. One thing is really funny about this collection. It is themed as banana but I just don't see any purpose of it. Neither there is a yellow shade in the palette nor does it smell like banana. It honestly more it honestly look more like a fall palette. Now I'm gonna take the lighter shade from the palette called Peach Bay. I highlight my inner corner. Again, I'm not happy with the shade as it is not giving that out of the box look and looks just the basic. I seriously don't understand the purpose of this shade in this palette. And finally, last but not the least, let me just highlight my brow bones. 
So I'm done with the eyeshadow part. Uh, let me just quickly go off camera and finish my uh, mascara and eyeliner. So I'm done with the eyeliner and mascara. So this is how it uh, looks. So overall, if I have to speak about this product, college girls and beginners just skip this product palette. You can find almost the same shade in much cheaper price. And for experienced ladies, this would be just an addition to your eyeshadow collection. In fact, you would already be having a better option and this one is nothing special that you have never seen before. If you got the Morphe 35O, 35OM or S or 35O2, you will get all these shades. So this is all about the eyeshadow palette. Uh, so moving on to the lipstick part. And for lips, I'm going with a matte lipstick shade Tangerine. Straight up is a neon orange. The texture is smooth and it feels very light on the lips. Uh, now I have only one question for you guys. If you're someone who loves the warm shade, don't you already have the shade in your collection? And if you already have one, then what's the point of going for another one which is costlier? In fact, I already have two lipstick. One is L'Oreal and one is uh, Maybelline, which is exactly the same shade and uh, even the consistency is almost the same. So, and as I don't use this uh, shade more often, so there's no point in going for another one. So if, if with you also this is the case, then... Uh, there's no point in going for another uh, Kylie lipstick which is uh, a bit pricey. Sorry, I just uh, changed the lipstick because I'm not a warm shade lover. So, when it was looking uh, really bright, so I just wiped it and applied another shade. Well, my point is, this neon orange is a common shade that a warm tone girl would already have it. And and lesser price and nobody would be interested to go for another uh, very common lipstick which is pricey but yeah if you are someone who has enough money in your account or piggy bank and and eagerly waiting to spend it then go ahead and buy this Kylie summer collection which is worth 215 dollars for the entire collection and, and this palette retails for 45 dollars well, coming to the conclusion, if you're someone who wants to add another warm tone palette to your collection or uh, as a Kylie Jenner fan, then you can just go ahead and buy this palette. But for me, it's just a waste of money. And a very important thing is, being into a cosmetic business, you would definitely know that all the girls doesn't have a warm skin tone. So this warm shade would go well with the people who are having a warm skin tone and uh, might not go well with the people who doesn't have a warm skin tone. Now, if you have launched this uh, product, uh, keeping only the warm skin tone uh, girls in your mind, then I have no words. All right guys, so this was my review about the Kylie Summer Collection. I hope it was helpful for you guys. And what do you think about the summer collection? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. So until we meet again, take care. Bye-bye.